Now, good morning or good afternoon is 11 and 12. Welcome to this short video for General Mathematics 2022. Now, I'm Mr. Sumitomo, some of you I know, some of you I haven't met yet. So we'll do proper introductions when you're back for face-to-face -face learning in week three. Now, in this video, there'll be an introduction. Then we'll talk about the core structure. Then we'll be talking about what you'll be doing in week two, remote learning and then we'll summarize the video. Now, next. So general mathematics. Now, why are we doing it? Now, because it provides a QCE and ATAR pathway. Now, it's very important. Now, what will you learn? There are four units of work. And now let's talk about what sort of jobs and careers it can lead to. Business, commerce and finance, education and teaching, IT jobs and also social science and arts. Let's talk about the core structure. Now, general mathematics, we're going to have four units. Now, unit one is money measurement and relations. Unit two is applied trigonometry, algebra, matrices, and univariate data. Now, the important thing is you'll be doing unit one and two in semester one and semester two of year 11. So year 11, you do unit one and unit two, and unit three and four, which is bivariate data sequences and change and earth geometry and unit four investing and networking are covered in year 12, semester one and two. So you'll be doing two units each year level. Now, what about assessments? Assessments are very important in senior. So we'll be talking about them in more in detail once you come back for face-to-face -face learning. But let's keep that in mind. So what will you be doing Next week in term one, week two, we'll be going through a textbook. So year 11, you'll be going through unit one. The first topic is consumer arithmetic. And I want you to go through textbook chapter one, exercises 1A to C. And year, year 12, you'll be doing unit three, topic one, bivariate data analysis. And I want you to do textbook chapter one, exercises 1A to D. And yes, we'll, you will be given printouts of the textbooks. So how do we do these? So how are you gonna do your work? Okay, so here's an example from the year 11 textbook. So section 1A, salary and wages. There's a part which you are going to read. You're going to read that carefully and also circle any words you don't know, and then we'll break it down once you come back. Now, and examples, each section has examples. I want you to copy down each example step by step. We will provide you with pencils and paper. So copy down exactly as it is in the textbook. Now, but when you get to the exercises, so this is both for year 11 and year 12. Now, this is an example from the year 11 textbook. So each, Set of each set of questions will follow an example. So for, for this one, this set of examples follows example one. So you can use example one as a model to do these exercises. And I want you to do, to do at least three questions from each set of questions. So you do example one questions, then you move on to the example two set. Now this is an example from the year 12 textbook. So similarly, you will, to do these questions, you will follow example two. And again, I want you to complete at least three questions from each set. Now, for the questions as a spreadsheet, you don't have to do these. Now, so I want you to do, so next week, I want you to try each one section each day. So for example, on Monday, you're gonna try 1A and do those. And on Tuesday, 1B and so on. Now to summarize, so general mathematics is important because it provides an ATAR and QCE pathway. So of course, in year 11, you do units one and two. In unit 12, you do units three and four. And assessments, we'll, again, we'll talk about them once you come back to school. So in week two, next week, remote learning from a textbook. Okay, so year 11, I want you to try sections one's A to C, year 12's one's section 1a to d so what do we do you read copy down the examples step by step very carefully then have a go at the exercise questions and try one section each day so remember this is the end of the video we are here to help so if you need to contact me 
what you can call, you can call the school on that number and you can also email me at my email address if you have any questions. So, so let's stay safe and I'll see you soon back at school in week three. Thank you for watching the video.